Hi everybody, it's Jen Canada. I'm just going to share with you my menu plan for October. So I'm going to show you the process of what I've um, started doing and then I'm going to show you the end result. Okay, so I like to do this every once in a while is grab some of my favorite cookbooks and just go through them and make my menu plan from one, two, or three books. So this is one of my favorite cookbooks, the Complete Canadian Living Cookbook. You can find most of the recipes online um, as well. Or um, as you can see, there's a few spots in here. As my page, my, my book just opens. Oh look, there's our my pad thai recipe that I like to do. That I change it up a bit. And another spot that like has broken the, the seam. Let's see where else. Oh, gonna open. Oh, no, not that one. Where is it? This one that opens right here. You can see it's been well loved as well. This is the spicy chicken with couscous stuffing. And uh, as you can see at the bottom of it, the page has been like ripped. I have a recipe, I did a video of that last year, I think. I'll put the link up above. But those but I've gone through and I put a whole bunch of tabs as you can see at the end part I didn't put any tabs those are like baking stuff and bread and stuff so I went through and put tabs and then I wrote down the days of the week now this is just a rough copy I was just writing them down and kind of trying to spread them out and then I went back and color coded which ones were um, the blues were pork um, the purple was like fish shrimp. Um, the pinky purple, uh, the pinky red here was beef. The greens were vegetarian. Um, and the yellows were chicken or turkey, so poultry. And I have one here that's lamb. <laughs> I didn't put a color because I just didn't. Now, as I was looking at this, I was noticing that there was a lot of, see, there's a lot of yellow in a row here, there's a lot of blue in a row here. That that will change a bit. Like tonight I'm going to be making, like today is October 1st, I am going to be making these Singapore noodles because I picked up this big huge pork loin. Okay, so this pork loin, it says it's good till the 5th uh, without start doing anything. So I'm going to start, cook, cut it up into meals. So one is going to be the Singapore noodles, which my husband loves Singapore noodles. My oldest daughter doesn't, but since today is Tuesday, and normally I'm since this school year, since she started college, she doesn't come home at supper time until late. So she comes home about like 8.30, 9 o'clock. So she grabs supper where she is at school. Um, so we usually do seafood. Well, Singapore noodles has shrimp in it, but has pork and... Um, chicken sometimes, but I think it's just, this one's just pork and shrimp, so that's what I'm going to do. And I think my husband will really like it, because my supper that I made last night, um, the flavoring was a bit off, he said, he got, because I'm using the low FODMAP tomato sauce that I had made without garlic or onions, so it needed seasoning, so he was not too impressed with it, so, just because he likes his garlic and and stuff so and then here cuban grilled pork sandwiches so i'm going to use that same pork and then the pad thai for pork and then cut up pork for the pork goulash so will these this be this week i don't know i might just get all the pork prepped and freeze it for specific meals i'm going to go right now and go through and try and switch things around because i'm like i wrote down here like on the 16th of October, Abby has her, her surgery with her um, uh, her colonoscopy camera endoscopy, so it's not quite surgery, but we have to go through pre-op. So that day, we're definitely going to be ordering it because I have no idea when the appointment will be. And since she's older, they tend to put the younger kids first thing in the morning and the older kids start like 10, 11 o'clock. So we probably won't even get out of there till like 4 or 5 like it's just day surgery, so like we get released. So I'm def planning to order out. So that's the thing to do when 
you're trying when, when you have a budget and when you use when you do like to order out or go out for restaurants and stuff is to plan it so if i plan it that way i will make sure that the things that we have here like i have not not written anywhere for any leftovers but we tend to use leftovers for lunches for meals for breakfast for for the the times when a meal is not one of my family's favorites okay because honestly i can't f make four people in my family happy a hundred percent of the time i have about three meals that everybody loves especially when i give a lot of different options of side dishes like side vegetables because again not all my family likes certain vegetables so some of these recipes we've done before some or or at least a version of it like spaghetti carbonara we've i've done before the the dutch meatball soup i've done before um i didn't know i don't know if i did it from this cookbook but i've done over here you know chili you know again some of them we have not done like i really want to try this portuguese pepper paprika chicken um and I have not done the Sicilian chicken or the chicken hot pot with ginger. So those type of things. I know the flavor profiles that my family likes and the ones that it might not be their first choice or their favorite, but they'll still eat it. It's kind of like, hey, if I can get everybody to kind of eat a portion of the meal or, or li like a portion of the meal, it's a good day. So now I'm going to go take this and I'm going to show you, I just from, from in word perfect, took a calendar right now. I'm just, oops, ah, not that, where is it? The October calendar. So it's already the dates. So I'm going to go right now and start putting the days in the calendar that we are at Chio. That way those puns, Except for the surgery day, I'll plan something that I can throw in the instant pot or pre-make the day before so that all it has to be done is heat, like put the stuff on your plate and heat up your plate or heat up the dish. So it's like a prepared leftovers because usually we go to Chio on either a Thursday or a, Tuesday, or a Wednesday. So usually Tuesdays, I do, I'm not away from the house. So usually Tuesdays, like which is today, I'm at home. So I have time to make two or three meals or pr at least prep meals. So tonight is, I'm going to do the Singapore noodles. Singapore noodles. And what I also like to do, so I save these, right, so that I can come back and use them. Um, I don't do them every single month. I do them... It seems to be, because consistency is my issue, right? I have ADHD, and doing anything the same thing all the time, it makes my brain bored. So I tend to do a full menu about once every two months, two or three months. Um, the summertime tends to be more freeform because we're all home and everybody wants kind of different things. So I just usually do this type of meal planning of there's 31 days or 30 days in the month i plan for about 25 meals and just go to this every week and kind of plan that week um and then even with that plan of week those meals could be switched up because you know for example last week my husband um had a meeting that lunch was provided which he didn't know lunch was provided so he had chicken at this lunch that night i was supposed to i was supposed to have chicken for supper so he called me after his lunch i was home you know i mean and he said okay i had chicken at lunch can we have anything else besides chicken and i'm like yes i have another meal that was going to be for tomorrow that had already taken i had taken both proteins out so they were both already defrosted so yeah we can have I don't even know if it was pork or beef, um, something else, just com something completely different. 
I and I can do that. Why? Because I'm a stay-at-home mom. But my eye is just like the cat fur <laughs> is bothering me today because well Peter came and gave me love and I think I got like a hair in my eyeball. But so I put down Singapore noodles. I put the page um, 246. So, so this month I'm actually using all the recipes I have are from this book or ones that I already just do. Like sushi, I don't really do a message. message. And I put uh, C, uh, Canadian. I'll just go Canadian cookbook. Um... So we're at Chio. I'll put that on Chio Wednesday, the second, and we're at Chio on the twenty fourth, and we're on Chio at the sixteenth. That's the long day. I can guarantee you. Like I can guarantee you, we're. I'm not. I'm not going to have the energy to be cooking, because I'm going to be having all my energy is going to be to keep Abby happy, and not to distract you know to distract her and keep her you know happy <laughs> and the day before she's not going to be eating she, she has to have a clean out of the stuff so she's gonna have like a liquid diet so it doesn't matter what I make the, the day before because the rest of us have to still eat but she'll have there'll be plenty of uh, broth and stuff what she can have so on the sixth thing I'm just gonna write down um, order out in capitals so I can see that order out um, because I, I think I have to look at her Chio papers. I think when she comes home, she has to have soft food. So I will make sure that there's like some macaroni and cheese or something like that. Because I think that's good considered soft food. Because they say scrambled eggs. I'm like, my child does not like eggs, scrambled eggs. So. Okay. Oh, where's my. Um, go back here, Chio. And we don't have Chio at all next week or the last week okay so Wednesday we have Chio what's a quick meal oh and I'm trying some new recipes which I will take some videos hopefully of like there's one vegetarian recipe a cheese souffle I've never made a cheese souffle I've always been scared of anything with souffle but we've been watching a lot, a lot of cooking shows lately and um, it's been intriguing me <laughs> to try it um, and also, there's a two cheese tomato tart. I've made a regular tomato tart before, but this two cheese one, I'm unsure, like, one of the cheeses it calls for, I've never heard of before. So I might just use two different cheeses that my family's familiar with. Um, but let's see here. Oh, well, Thanksgiving is Sunday the 13th. So that, I don't have to... Thanksgiving and this week we are seeing Nana and going to my in-laws um, on Saturday instead of Sunday so Nana and we're having lasagna there lasagna so this week on Sunday I have to make something but since we had to go to church um, I usually do a soup or we do leftovers so I'm going to do that here for, um, so look at the soups that I have here. I have here soups, a Thai shrimp noodle soup. I have all those ingredients. So I have that one. Chili. Since we have lasagna the day before, I don't think we want to do chili the next day. Sour Broughton Stew, which is a beef stew. Since we have beef the day before, probably not. And the pork goulash. Hmm. Might do the pork goulash. Since I'm going to be prepping the stuff the pork today, I can chop up the pork, freeze it, so it's good for Sunday pork goulash. Then, what's... So, Wednesday... I want to see what we can do in this day. See, pad thai. It's a lot of steps. It's not really hard, but it's a lot of steps of cook the egg, take it out of the pan, cook the chicken, take out the pan, cook the pork, take it out of the pan, 
soak the noodles, um, cook the shrimp, take it out of the pan, cook the tofu, take it out of the pan, like, you know, and then put the noodles in, put every, you know, put all the vegetables, oh, cook the vegetables, take them out of the pan, put the noodles in, put everything back in, and then you have a meal. It's a, I think we will have the spaghetti carbonara, because that's easy, and, um, my husband hasn't had that for a while. Carbonara, which is basically bacon, cream sauce, and, pas and pasta. Um, so, so what's on going to be on Thursday? So that's pasta. Maybe Thursday I will do the chili, people's chili, people's choice chili. On Thursday, because then we can have whatever is there, I can freeze and um, for meals. Because Abby does like chili, she's my little chili fiend. Um, I, uh, I'll make on Thanksgiving since I'm not cooking a turkey on Thanksgiving, my mother in law is going to be making a, a turkey. I will make the um. Dutch meatball soup. That's really easy. It's basically a chicken soup base, but with little uh, Dutch beef meatballs. Meatball soup. And I will tentatively put on the Monday our turkey. Turkey dinner. Because, well, I still haven't bought it, but, um, because we don't usually get leftovers from my, my in-laws, um, just they don't buy a big enough container, like a big enough turkey to do lots of leftovers. Um, so we still like to do our own, but we don't go all fancy. It's like, we do turkey, we do stuffing, we do mashed potatoes, we do, um, I do turnip for myself, <laughs> And, um, and then we do like a vegetable, peas or, or corn. Those are the ones my family will eat. <laughs> Sometimes carrots. Maybe I'll find some Brussels sprouts and then, then everybody can have some fresh Brussels sprouts. Um, so we have that. Let's see. Where are we going to put the, the grilled pork sandwiches? See, grilled pork sandwiches. Let's try that maybe next Tuesday. Sandwiches. I'm trying to. So there's a pork, a space, and a pork. So we need something on Monday that's easy because I had Bible study on Monday, so I'm out. So I want something that I can do up and have my family, you know, heated up. So, let's see here. Let's see, chicken, possibly chicken. We'll do the chicken adobo. That sounds like a nice chicken. A D O B O. Okay, so now we have we have a pork dish, we have a bacon pasta dish, beef dish. We need something on Friday. What we can do on Friday. Friday, I'm home. Do have tomatoes that have to be used. How about we do the two cheese tomato tart? So two, which is a vegetarian dish, but I might have. Well, I'll have leftovers of other stuff if people want meat. Uh, two cheese, not potato, tomato tart. Um. So then we have lasagna on Saturday at my in-laws. 
pork goulash, chicken adobo on Monday, grilled pork sandwiches on Tuesday. Wednesday, I have coffee break in the morning, but I'm home. I have to also figure out when I'm doing groceries. I still have lots of groceries. I, I should technically be doing groceries this Friday, but since Abby was sick last week, we did not eat a lot of the fresh foods that I had picked up. We ended up, she had just basically soups, and then I was cooking up stuff that, um, well, uh, soups, and then I was cooking up foods that she would probably like. So it was more stuff from the freezer. Um, so we still have a lot of stuff. <laughs> and I have a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> um, so. With chicken pesto pasta probably be actually I can do that on the 24th on the Thursday because Rowan will be home and she likes pesto and I'll by then buy pesto or buy the enough basil to make pesto chicken pesto pasta Let's see. And pad thai. Where are we going to put pad thai? Pork. Maybe we'll do that on the 18th. So after Abby's procedure, because she likes pad thai. Pad thai. And then she has a day of rest and probably I think of soft foods. And then, I mean, pad thai is not necessarily hard hard food but and then there's a, a past dish that is interesting I've I looked at the ingredients and it looked really good it's called pastito pastizo pasta and that has beef in it I have lots of ground beef um so I'm gonna look where I'm gonna put that I actually might do that on the 15th Oh, wait. So, turkey. Yeah, because then, we'll then we'll have that and have turkey and turkey soup thrown in there um, in between. Because I'm going to make a turkey soup, but it won't be necessarily on my, min on my menu. Because um, I just make it and we have it. <laughs> um, maybe as an appetizer before a meal or some, some people will have it as their meal. And since that's the week that Abby has procedure and stuff like that, it's a soup. So, so pastito pasta. P-A-S-T-I-T-S-I-O. S-I-O pasta. Okay, so now we're still working on the 9th, which is the Wednesday. I could do the cheese souffle, but cheese souffle and maybe baked tomatoes because we have, again, tomatoes. <laughs> My family likes baked tomatoes. Literally cut the tomatoes in half um, and uh, sprinkle them with Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, a bit of garlic oil, um, put some breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese on top and bake them. <laughs> It's really easy to make. Apparently I can't spell souffle. <laughs> Here we go. So cheese souffle, let's look down here. Grilled pork. Let's look at the last. Do we put goulash? Yep. Sour Breton stew. So that's a German beef stew recipe that has, like, it called for ginger snaps in it, which kind of sounded weird. But um, I do have some gingerbread uh, cookies, and I can easily make some for it. So where am I going to put that? Somewhere where beef. Um, does that require a lot of work? Hmm. 
Hmm. Might be a weekend thing. So maybe there we go. We'll do we'll have that just before. Uh, no, because we have a stew. Oh, we have the soup. No, I'll do it the after pad thai. So I'll do it the following Saturday. The sour bratton. S A U E R B R A T E N stew. Oh, I need to hit the caps lock. Yeah, so so since we are getting into fall, right now it's it's cool, it's damp out, so we're gonna have having more soup stews, casseroles. During the summertime, there was not a soup. Hard, the only soups we saw were like, you know, um, Vietnamese soup. So now these are the more hearty soup, stick to your bone type soups, soups that you have with bread or, you know, with a sandwich. <laughs> And um, we did pesto, but it was a people chili. We did the chili. Yep, chili. And then we have Mediterranean vegetable pie, which was similar to a tomato pie that I've made, um, but had other vegetables in it. So I thought we could try that. Maybe we could try that after Abby's surgery, because Abby's not probably not going to like it anyways. <laughs> And we might want to have, and we'll still have turkey soup at that point in time. So Mediterranean. Mediterranean vegetable pie. I'm hoping to do videos on most of these um, items, which you'll probably see probably next month by the time they get done. Let's see herbed onion Swiss steak now that one really looked good so that's a beef dish a beef stew beef steak let's do that on a Tuesday so herbed onion Swiss steak and probably have it with mashed potatoes and because there's gonna be gravy so That's a beef dish. Chicken adobo. A Portuguese paprika chicken. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to do the Sicilian chicken and pasta the day before. Um. Because on Mondays I have Bible study, so I'm not home, but I can easily do up the Sicilian chicken and the pasta dish and have it ready to be served on plates and reheat the plates or take the, the dish and throw it in um, the toaster oven or something. However, my daughter wants to heat it up. Okay, so that's chicken and then beef, and then we have a space, and then we have chicken. Again, so not a chicken dish. Let's see, and that's a Wednesday. It's beef. That must be too much right then. Let's see. So probably. Well, I'll leave that one blank because uh, we'll go and she'll make something there. But let's see. I'll do the lamb moussaka on the Friday. <coughs> I love lamb moussaka. Um, my husband likes it, but not a lot of it. So I'm not going to make a big pan of it because I don't want lots of leftovers because there's only so much leftovers I want to eat of it too because it's a very rich and heavy dish but it's a great dish to have with like eggplants like it has the eggplant in it and we don't eat a lot of eggplant because nobody likes it other than in this dish because in this dish 
um, I've learned to uh, shred it <laughs> instead of having layers of it. And then my family is perfectly fine with the amount of eggplant it is. And it's a texture thing. It's always a texture thing in this house. So we have that. Maybe, okay, let's see. We want these two. And... So on the following Monday, I'll do the chicken hot pot with ginger. Chicken hot pot with ginger. And probably egg noodles or um, ramen noodles with it. And let's see. So I have to figure out. I said chicken. Chipotle Mojo Chicken. Chipotle Mojo Chicken. Will be on the 10th. I'm just I'm like, oh yes, I had spaces. Now I'm trying to fill in things. Did I put the Thai shrimp? Noodle soup. No. Actually, do, 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 do. actually, I wrote the Sicilian chicken to do that on the Friday. We'll make two chickens together. <laughs> And do the Thai shrimp and chicken because my daughter doesn't do shrimp. She'll have chicken, shrimp, and chicken. So she'll have chicken in hers. Chicken noodle soup. I'm just trying to figure that out. And the Peking hamburger dumplings. Those ones take a long time to do. I'll either do them with hamburger or with pork. Um, they are yummy. Um, they're not as authentic as regular dumplings and stuff like that, but um, they will do in a pinch. I think I will make that on a Tuesday because they're more labor. So peaking. So we'll have more than just maybe I'll have other dumplings too. Peaking. Hamburger dumplings. And maybe we'll have still leftover of the chicken hot pot with ginger from the day before. We'll see what, uh, if they kind of have a theme of Asian kind of flavors, they can all be kind of throw the leftovers into a soup. <laughs> That's kind of how I roll <laughs> most days. So on the Sunday before. Four. Let's do the black bean. No, that one has the stew on the I'm going to do this. The, the stew, I'm going to remove it from the Saturday and move it to the Sunday. Because it being on the Saturday is messing up the way I like to do sa Sundays. I do Sundays as either a soup or leftovers. Um, or something like that. That's, that's like one pot meal. So now I move that. And now we have still the black bean soup. Which is vegetarian. Okay, so now what have we not done? Portuguese chicken. Did I do that one yet? No, I will do that. Portuguese paprika chicken. So we have pad thai, Portuguese paprika chicken, then the sour brat and stew, then the Thai shrimp or chicken noodle soup, herb dish with steak, 
mashed potatoes. Let's see. Let's see. We have a risotto malaise, which is another vegetarian dish, which will work well with uh, um, any type of leftovers. Let's do that on this. Is that what they're doing? Here, I'll do the sushi. Then we have sushi plan on one of on Rowan's Wednesdays because she likes doing sushi. Sushi. Make sure. So I need the risotto. Get that one up here. Risotto. Lays. Spicy chicken couscous stuffing. We still haven't done that one, and we that's the only one we haven't done. So the spicy chicken couscous stuffing. Wednesday or Thursday? Oh no, I'll do that on a Saturday. Yeah, they we haven't had. So spicy chicken couscous stuffing. Still have two days without things, but I think I'm, I'm going to move my chicken pesto pasta from a chio day, which will just be uh, leftovers, because you have to kind of plan those in there. Otherwise, you won't ever get them used up. <laughs> That's why on Sundays is usually my leftover slash soup day. That depends on what the leftovers are. I can possibly throw them in the soup. <laughs> so then we'll have the chicken pesto pasta on the following week. When was the other ch chio? We have chio spaghetti carbonara. That's this week. And let's see. Hmm. Maybe we'll just have hamburgers. And fries. There we go. So here, I will share with you the meal. So here is the menu. The Singapore noodles today, tonight. Um, chio tomorrow with spaghetti carbonara. So there's going to be two pasta dishes, but different flavor profiles. People's chili on Thursday. Just going to make it this a little bit. No, no, no. There we go. And then two cheese tomato tart. And then on Saturday, that lasagna. Then on Sunday we'll have the potato, the pork goulash, which I'll prep tonight, and then the Monday chicken adobo, grilled pork sandwiches, cheese souffle with baked tomatoes, chipotle chicken, mojo chicken. And then, yeah. then we have Sicilian chicken and pasta and risotto malaise, which I believe is vegetarian as well. So, trying to get that down there.
And then on the 13th is Thanksgiving. So we'll be having dinner at my in-laws. It might be in the afternoon. So I'll make a Dutch meatball soup um, and have that ready for after church. And then on the 14th is still a holiday. So I will make my turkey dinner and then we'll have pastito, pastiso pasta, which has beef in it. And then on the 16th, we will order out because we'll be at Chio all day. And then on 17th, we'll have Mediterranean vegetable pie. And then the 18th, Abby should be eating well by then. So we'll have the pad thai. And then on the 19th, we'll have the Portuguese paprika chicken. And then on the 20th, we'll have the sour and beef stew. On the 21st, we'll have the Thai shrimp and chicken noodle soups. And the 22nd, we'll have herbed onion swish steak and mashed potatoes. On the 23rd, I can't spell sushi apparently. <laughs> so we'll have sushi and possibly soup. Maybe a miso soup or something. Um, or just whatever leftover soups. Because I'm sure we'll have some leftovers. On um, the 25th we'll have the lamb moussaka. There'll be some leftovers of that. And then I'll make the spicy chicken cous with couscous stuffing. Instead of making it as a whole chicken, I'm probably going to go get pieces. And then make the stuffing just separate. I've done that before too. It's quite yummy. And then on the 27th we'll have... Um, black bean soup on the 28th chicken hot pot with ginger on the 29th Peking hamburger dumplings which will probably have still some leftover chicken hot pot and then on the 30th chicken pesto pasta and on the 31st we'll just have some burgers and fries because it is Halloween oh, that's correct it's, it's Halloween so we'll just have something quick or we'll order out. So, there we have it. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, friends. See you on the next video. Hopefully you'll see my recipes as I cook them this month. Bye now.